Hi everyone, and I hope you're having a really beautiful sunny day wherever you live. Sorry I have a froggy voice. I was at my friend's surprise birthday last night and it was super fun. And there was lots of loud talking and wine. So today I'm going to be talking about the Clarins Paris UV Plus HP. I don't know what the HP stands for other than steak sauce. Um, Multi protection SPF 40. Um, tinted sunscreen and I of course got mine in light. I've had this for over a year. I bought it last year when I was going to Jamaica. I find that when I wear regular sunscreen on my face it gets into my eyes and it burns like a mofo. So I decided to try this plus being on the beach for my friend's wedding. I wanted to have an even complexion but I didn't, I wanted sun protection because let's be honest, I'm the same color as the wall behind me and I burn because I'm Irish-ish, mostly a mutt. So um, I want to talk about this for a while, but I hadn't had a reason really to put a really heavy sunscreen on my face. But today friends and I are going to a festival in the park called Sunfest here in our hometown London, Ontario. It's my favorite because I get churros, mm, churros. Um, and I'm gonna be out in the sun. I need to protect this so I do not prematurely age because nobody wants that. Mm -mm. I'm gonna keep this like baby butt smooth. So I love this stuff. It has really good coverage. It comes with like, mine's so mangy looking because this has been to Jamaica and Mexico and Grand Bend, Ontario. So it's it's gotten around the sunscreen, but it comes out like this. And you can see it's like really watery. Like if you look at it going down my, hand and what I like to do is I just rub it into my face like a sunscreen. I do find that if you use this on your makeup brushes it really gums them up um, so I don't do that and like any sunscreen this is a little bit heavier and oilier on your skin so if you're prone to breakouts from sunscreen this is a sunscreen. It's gonna do the same thing, but what I do find is it kind of sets into my skin the little bit of a powdery finish, and so it doesn't um, melt. Now, it doesn't, it's not a perfect matte, so I definitely have to bring it behind my ears and then kind of ombre fade it down my neck. If you now the other thing I find is you do have to let it sit for a minute before you can put powder over top if you don't want to gum up your powder brushes because again it has the sunscreen in it but it does a pretty good job of evening out my skin tone and then I'm just going to for my under eyes I'm just going to use oh apparently it does make your hands a little bit oily. But again, it's a sunscreen. It's not a tinted, it's not a BB cream. It has an SPF of 40 in it, which is a really good level of protection. If you're wanting to use it as a true sunscreen, you will have to reapply it every three hours or how often you reapply your sunscreen, if you're me, hourly. Um, but it just adds that extra protection. I find it, oh, I just tightened this lid. We're not wearing that one, apparently. We'll wear my it. Um, which I think also has SPF in it. Um, but um, yeah, so you do have to reapply it to get the full benefits of the sunscreen. Um, and sunscreen is just so important. Now the one thing I will warn you, uh, if, you're wear if you're planning on wearing this to a wedding, anytime you wear something with an SPF in it, if flash photography is being taken on your face, you're gonna give a white cast. And if you're as pale as me, you're pretty much just gonna look like a glowing creature from the other side. You're gonna look like you've come back a ghost and you're glowing. So, um, so yeah, I'm still tacky, but I'm just gonna show you what I like to also use. I like to use a mineral powder that also has an SPF over top of it if I'm gonna be going outside to set it and make it look a little bit smoother and to lighten the color. This is the lightest color and it is obviously a smidgen too dark for me. So this is just the um, mineral powder by Pure Minerals just to set it. And it also gives a little bit of a heavier coverage and a little bit more of an even skin tone. So that's my story on the Clarins. I love it. Um, it is very expensive. Um, I think I probably paid 
somewhere between 40 and 50 dollars for it i will write that down below or at least i hope i remember i have to say that and then i forget um but I really do think it's worth it. I wore it on Canada Day when we were going to be in a backyard and a barbecue and I didn't burn. I just want to protect my skin. I don't want to be older and wish that I had taken the time and the effort to set those under eyes. Um, protect my skin. You only get one face. Um, and even like, and you just don't want cancer. Straight up, let's be honest, nobody wants that. I know somebody that had cancer on their nose and they had to get it removed. And let me tell you, they didn't end up with like a cute little plastic surgery button nose. They had like a not as cute nose anymore, like half a nose. So please, please wear SPF in the summer, protect yourself. This is a great option. In the summer, look for foundations that have SPF in it. Um, unless it's your wedding day. If it's your wedding day, suck it up and don't get a sunburn so you don't have a weird white cast. But um, outside of that, please, please, please wear sunscreen, protect your skin. Even if you tan and you're dark, protect your skin because you still age straight up. So thank you so much for watching. This is a product that I really recommend. Um, the wear time on it, I'm not going to come back later and show you the wear time on it because um, it's something that you should be reapplying. So. It doesn't matter if it gives me coverage for 14 hours. It's not going to give me sun protection for 14 hours. It is a sunscreen. Apply it as often as you would a sunscreen if you want proper sun protection and to protect your face. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys are all having a beautiful, sunny, lovely day.